Welcome to the channel. My name is Boega DDG. I'm so glad to receive you to another interesting episode of Better and Leading You. In this video, we'll be learning how to move from poverty to wealth as a solution provider. If your desire is to become really wealthy in your own lifetime, then I believe this video is meant for you. So let's go into it. Growing up as a young man in Nigeria, I've been around men and women that daily pray about the wealth of the Gentiles being converted to them. They request and they desire that the riches of the Gentiles should become theirs. In this video, our focus is to see the principles that are able to bring about into reality the desires of many people. It is one thing to pray to be rich. It's another thing to know the principles that make anyone rich. So our goal is to become acquainted with the right principles that are able to make anyone rich, irrespective of the background of salt. Looking at the phrase, the wealth of the Gentiles being brought to you, one thing you must understand is that the wealth of nations is tied to their work. So if you want to get the wealth of the people, you must also be able to get the work of the people. One thing is very clear. We live in a world where almost everyone desires to be wealthy, but only a few people are willing to work in order to get the wealth. However, I've learned that the wealth that many of us yearn for is tied to work and works that we detest. So the first thing I've discovered observing the phrase, the wealth of nations being brought to you, is that the wealth of nations is tied to the works of nations, the problems of nations, the challenges of nations. So if you want the wealth of the people, you must also want the work, the problems and the challenges of the people. So the more problems you're able to solve in your own lifetime, the more the opportunity you have to improve your own net worth as a person. So since the wealth of the nations are rooted in their problems and their works, in their challenges, it therefore means that the more problems you are able to solve, the more problems you are able to provide solutions to, the more challenges you are able to take on as a person, the more the opportunity you have to improve your own net worth as a person. Now the thing is, if you must solve problems, it's important you are able to identify the problems of the people. Even though most people have one problem or the other, the truth is only a few people are able to identify the problems. The thing is, if you cannot identify a problem, you cannot provide solution to the problem. Now, can you provide solution to a problem? That you do not know exist. So the first thing that must be done for a solution to be provided is that a problem must first be identified. Until there is an identified problem, there can never be an identifiable solution to the problem. So if you want to become a solution provider, if you want to become somebody who is able to provide solution to the problems of people, the first thing that you must do is that you must identify the problem. Again, can a man who has problems in his or her life solve the problems of others? The first thing that is required is that you must first become the solver of your own problems. You see, you cannot give what you don't have. If you lack the ability to identify your own problems and solve them, you cannot in any way identify the problems of others and solve them. So if you want the wealth of the people, you must also want their problems. You must become a man, a woman who is able to provide solution to their problems. And if you must solve their problems, it must be because you are a man, a woman who solves problems. And the first point of call in solving problems is your own problem. It is a known fact that most people have one problem or the other. Now what many people do that is dangerous for growth and dangerous for becoming wealthy in life is that they pile up their own problems waiting for one day someone will show up to ease their body to solve their problems if you pile up your own problems can you then be able to solve the problems of others i think you won't if you must become a solution to the problems of others you must first become a solution to your own problem. You must be able to fix certain issues in your own life. If something is wrong in your life and you tell yourself there's a responsibility here for me, 
I must become a man, a woman who is responsible for the cause of my life. If my life tends towards this direction, it is because I have decided it. If my life tends towards another direction, it is because I have decided it. If you wait for others to give direction to your life, if you wait for others to solve your problems, then you are telling yourself that you cannot fix your problems and therefore you lack the ability to fix the problems of others. Now, see a situation where a man, a woman who refuses to fix his or her life problems then comes out to help others to fix the problems of others. Such people end up failing woefully even outside. And the reason is simply because they are failed inside they have refused to accept responsibility to address their own life issues and they are therefore incapable of providing solutions to the problems of others. Yet, the wealth of the people are tied to their problems. So, if you want people to share their wealth with you, then you must be willing to share in their problems, you must be willing to ease their pain, you must be able to help them. I have realized that real wealth comes only to real solution providers and the more problems you are able to solve the more the opportunity you have created for yourself to receive more from the people the people we give to you only to the degree of what you have given to them there is always value exchange in the world there's the value you must give before you receive the valuables of the people any man any woman who is always willing to receive the valuables of the people without being ready to give value to the people will soon be tagged a thief in his generation so you must understand until there is a transfer of value there can never be a transfer of valuables what almost all of us are looking for is that valuables should be transferred to us however if that must happen value must proceed from us to others you give people values and then they give you their valuable. I'm sure you have noticed that when people do things for you, you just pay them involuntarily. Why? There is a value exchange. Now let's take for instance, you go to the market for some vegetable. The woman gives you vegetable and you give money in exchange for the vegetable. Another woman gives you vegetable that has been cut into pieces. And so you tell the woman, keep the change. What is the difference? One gives you vegetable, the other one gives you vegetable that has been cut into sizes. And so, because more value has been added, you are able to also give more value in exchange. So the key to getting more valuables from people across the nations is you giving more value to the people across the nations. So the more value you give, the more valuables you are able to get. Don't be too fixed on the valuables and then you lose sight of the values. If you must improve the amount of valuables you have, you must improve the amount of values you give. The wealth of the nations that you pray for, the wealth of the nations that you ask for is tied to the problems of the nations. If you must solve the problems of the nations, you must identify the problems and you must find the right solution to the problems. And you cannot give solution if you are not a solution provider. And so the wealth of the nations goes straight to the providers of solution to the problems of the nations. If you can provide solution, you can get the wealth that they have. So don't just fast, don't just pray to be wealthy. You must provide solution. You must build a walk around the solutions you provide. So if you can make more people happy in your own lifetime, if you can make more people comfortable in your lifetime, then you are able to become more comfortable and more happy simply because you made more people happy. So the comfort you give, the happiness you give is what comes back to you in a greater proportion as more joy, more happiness even in your own life. So let's see how everything connects. There is wealth and to get to that wealth there is work and from the work there is a problem and then from the problem there is a solution and there can never be a solution without a provider. Of the solution so there is a solution provider who gives solution to problems and problems that are inside work and work that produces wealth if you want to therefore become wealthy you must have more work you do more problems you solve more solutions you create and simply because you have become a solution provider yourself if you're always looking for somebody to solve your own problems 
then it means you are looking for more people to get your own valuables. If you must receive the valuables of the people, then you must become a man, you must become a woman that provides solutions to the problems of others. So as you solve the problems of the people, they reward you with their own valuable. Alright, we have come to the end of the video. I believe you have learned something there. The wealth of the nations that you desire is tied to the works of the nations. If you hate to work, then don't ask for wealth. If you must become wealthy, then you must have the works that you do. In case you ask, why do people struggle to get works? It is because every work is a problem and every problem is a potential work. Some people are looking for jobs. There's a thin line between your job and your work and many people are looking for a job not knowing that the job that they are looking for is already a solution to a problem that has been identified. If only they can identify a new problem, they can then become a new solution provider with a solution. If you can have a solution, then you already have created a work. If you can create work for yourself, it means you have gathered the solution to a problem and then you are ready to receive reward for the job well done. The more solution you provide, the more the opportunities you create to receive the wealth of the people. If people must give you their wealth, it is because you have eased their pain and you have solved their problems. Thank you for the gift of your time. My name is Boiga DDG. It's been a great joy to connect with you in this episode of Better and Live. See the next episode on this same channel. I want you to set yourself in that motion of seeking solution to the identified problems of your life and the identified problems of your society. If you can solve the problems of the people, then you can indeed receive the wealth of the people. Don't be too fixed on the words. Be fixed on the work. Get the job done. Find the problems that require solution. Go in hiding, seeking for solution, seeking for answers to questions. If you can find the answers, then you have created for yourself a platform to receive the wealth of the nations that you have been praying for even over the years. And as you do that, I believe you become indeed a wealthy man, a wealthy woman in your own lifetime. And you will be better and your nation will be better for it. I believe in your greatness, but I am sure your greatness is tied to the solution that you are able to provide in your lifetime. If you are new in this channel, I want you to subscribe and click the notification bell so that every time we have a new video, you can be one of the first to get to know about it. If you have learned something in this video, I want you to like it, share your comment with me in the comment box below and share the news with your friends on your social media. Thank you for the gift of your time. Till next time, I want you to stay safe.